like this is going to be our summer. We've had weeks now, it seems, without any proper rain. Temperatures have been in the high teens. Everyone's smiling. And I've managed to get a few bike rides in because, well, I've managed to get bike rides done in places that I wouldn't normally go because the ground's so dry, which is a complete contrast to how it was last year. How's that for a view from a bike? Just tottering along the top of Bishop Hill in Fife in the Loman Hills. Only seen one other person today, and he was delighted about the weather too. There. Luckily, even looking. Pretty damn fine today. Just left the bike so I can come and show you something quite cool. It's one of the more interesting geological features around here. This is Carl and Maggie which is this rock stack over here. Maggie, apparently she, she was a local witch or something who was turned to stone. Everyone always has a local witch, don't they? I don't know who turned her to stone. I had a guess, the devil seems to be responsible for most of the things of people being petrified. Yeah, you can see how it's eroded over time. Apparently she used to have a bit more of a cap on the top but that's since fallen away, as the whole thing will fall away eventually, of course. But these rocks, Carl and Maggie and all this, it all forms this long escarpment that goes all the way along here, uh, and it overlooks Loch Leven down there. Look at that sky. This is perfect for me. It's uh, it's not too warm. It's not into the twenties. It's in the mid-teens. That's fine. That's all I need for summer. Just a bit of warmth, a bit of sunshine, and not excessively hot. We've had nice weather now for a week, and uh, it's been dry for the longest while. I know. Every time we get a downpour, everyone sort of thinks it's been raining for ages, but it really hasn't. And the ground's parched. Everything's drying up. I'm taking the mud guards off the bike because there's no mud. <laughs> and what's really notable and is and noticeable is how nice this weather is. And I think it's very striking because we haven't had anything like this for such a long time. There was a few weeks in February where it didn't, it didn't rain for three weeks in five, and we had a fair bit of sunshine then, but obviously, being February, it was cold, it was six, seven degrees. So I think everyone really is noticing this, because it, not since March 2012 have we had anything vaguely resembling summer weather. So to have this now, with high pressure sat over us, giving us this sunshine, everyone's really, really noticing it, and it's very, very pleasant. <laughs> I have to say, even as a as a cold lover, this is really nice. And because it's warm and dry, I'm doing something that I never, never do. I'm wearing shorts with my pale, pale, pale legs. My practically translucent legs, which never see the light of day. <laughs> so, yeah. Summer's quite nice when it's not too hot. Oh my 
were. The fruit cake has never tasted so good. Sorry, I know I'm not supposed to talk with my mouth full, but. Ah. <sighs> much all downhill from here. It's a bit of a battle getting up this hill. This is probably the most strenuous bike ride I've done over the months since I've had the bike. And it has got progressively easier. I can't believe I was having trouble on almost flat ground back in November time. But as with anything, the more you do a thing, the more you, your body gets used to it, I suppose. But it's all downhill from here, so let the fun commence. Well, there's a nice view of the Lomond Hills from here. West Lomond, East Lomond, and the big sort of plateau between the two. Bado Reservoir, this blue line over there, and the Firth of Falls over there. It's lovely. I've noticed in the past couple of months is that whenever I get this nice weather now I tend not to go hill walking and that would have been my immediate response usually when it's nice weather head to the hills I'm still heading to the hills but I have to say biking has been far more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be I think it's because I've got over that initial Oh my god, this is hard work thing. Who'd have thought? Mind you, when you've got a day like this, and the wind's behind me at the moment, I think you can see why. Stop. That's a beautiful sight, East Lomond, Ballo Reservoir. Looking very, very blue because it's reflecting a blue sky. Very lovely Harper Lees Reservoir of West Lomond over there. And all that, that big long line over there, that's Bishop Hill. Glen Vale is in the dip in between and that's where I went up, cycle up there. I actually had to physically haul the bike <laughs> practically up this first bit because it was so steep and had a nice pedal along the top. That's when I had those nice views of Loch Leven and I've come all the way down here around and now I'm back here again. place. Swallows flying around, skimming off the water. Actually you can see how there's a sort of dark line all the way along here. That's the high water mark. That's where the water should be. All this area that's free of trees and vegetation and ferns and things. That's where the water should be. It's quite low. We'll probably have a drought this year after having the wettest summer on record last year. Lots of extremes, after and after having the coldest spring for 50 years, apparently. You wouldn't think it today. Summer's making up for lost time here now. Right, well I can sit here all day, but I'm not going to. I'm 
hungry. Curry is calling. Curry and a beer. Now the one thing I don't like much about this biking bar is having to haul bikes over fences every 10 minutes. I think as a lifelong hill walker who hasn't really been biking in the countryside, I think I ever thought that would be a problem and I've heard bikers complain about the about having to haul stuff over fences and never really thought anything of it until I started biking and now it's I'm sympathetic now. Right, final bit of up. Just one more. It's my favourite view in the Loman Hills, I think, with the reservoir and West Loman. Beautiful, beautiful hills, but uh, they're not, they don't get top billing. If uh, Scotland's countryside was a music festival, the Loman Hills would be on one of the small folk stages where hardly anyone goes to, and it's just a few people in the know. But uh, they're very, very beautiful in their own right. But they just don't receive many visitors beyond the locals in sort of this part of Fife, really. Which is a shame, but you wouldn't want it to get too busy. Very, very beautiful.